You're listening to Credit and Coffee with Vantage Core Solutions. Five ways teens can learn good money habits. If you're a tween or teen trying to earn money or save for a goal, it can be hard to sort out the mixed messages about money you hear from the media, your friends, and even your family. Sometimes parents don't like talking about money, or they may not always practice what they preach. How can you be smart about your own money? It's never too soon to teach yourself smart money management skills that will serve your future. As you can see, being a savvy saver and being on top of your credit in times of unexpected financial stress is a critical skill to develop. If you're disciplined, it's quite simple. Here are some healthy financial habits to help you be more on top of your earning, spending, and saving. Number one, learn how budgets work. Now is a good time to find an easy-to-use online budgeting tool or app. Budgets help you prioritize your spend and be aware of your cash flow, incoming and outgoing. There are even features designed to help you save for specific goals like prom or college. One of the great benefits to these apps is that you can see all your account balances in one environment. You can learn tips for keeping track of the money you earn and planning ahead. Number two, limit spending. Budgets are about making decisions. How much money do you want to save and how much do you want to spend? First, figure out how much money you're earning through allowance, part-time work, etc., per week or month. From here, you can identify your needs versus wants. This enables you to set your goals. Do you have a specific item you want to buy or an event like a trip you want to save for? Perhaps you want to contribute to your college fund. Decide a reasonable percentage of what you earn to set aside. Some banks even have an auto-save feature where you can elect a specific recurring dollar amount to be moved from your checking to your savings account. If it's out of sight, you're less likely to spend it. Number three, save what you can. As the saying goes, it's not what you make, it's what you save. Even if you're not earning much yet, commit to saving a small amount every time you get money from your allowance or part-time job. If you start setting aside a little bit each time you earn, you'll have this habit for life. Your future self will thank you. Number four, avoid impulse buys. When you see something great that tempts you to spend immediately, consider taking a day and sleeping on the idea. Remind yourself how long it took you to earn the cost of the item. If the video game or pair of shoes you want could cost 10 hours of working at your lifeguard job, you may not be so quick to make that purchase. Rest assured that this is not the only opportunity you'll ever have to buy that item. Another idea is to decide to take at least a day to think about any purchase that is over a certain dollar amount, such as the equivalent of three or more hours at your part-time job. Number five, use credit carefully. Once you hit 18, you may be barraged with invitations to apply for credit cards. When you go to college, it's a good idea to apply for at least one credit card to start building your credit history. You can use the card to occasionally make a small purchase that you know you can pay off when the bill is due. But remember, anything you buy on a credit card has to be paid off, and credit cards charge interest when you carry a balance, making whatever you bought with the card even more expensive. If you can't come up with the money to pay a credit card on time, or simply forget to pay it when it's due, those late payments can lower your credit score. If you max out your credit card through overspending, that will also lower your credit score. A good rule of thumb is never to charge on credit what you can't pay for in full with cash. Why should you care about your credit score? A poor credit score makes it harder for you to borrow money later. For example, when you might want to buy a car. Overall, learning good habits like budgeting, saving, and keeping track of your spending now will help you enjoy a more financially sound future. Thanks for listening. For more tips and info, visit vantagescore.com.